Hello friends, Marcy here. Always excited to see this symbol because that means I have my Galen leather shipment from Turkey. Let's get into okay, it. I don't want you to um, listen to all the bubble wrap um, unveiling, but I do want you to see how well packaged this comes. And voila, as we can see from the label on the box, it is the writer's medic bag anxious to get into this but uh real quick i've been recently ill and i may have to pause or edit out uh coughs or sniffles as i'm recovering and here we go these boxes are so sturdy i love them let's just do this wasn't sure how much height i would need on my camera phone camera slash phone to be able to share this with you um close enough but still able to get in good frame and there were no cards in that box i noticed maybe they're tucked inside um our protective uh dust bag to help protect the outside cover it looks like about the same size as the one that the um, tote was tucked in. So, outside real quick before we get in and look to see. Um, we have some little uh, rings on the back to attach a strap. It can be attached here or it can loop through here and become a backpack strap. And this is the um, Crazy Horse Leather. I debated for so long between this and my favorite, um, undyed. So there's a little button knob here that that snaps on and pulls out. Okay, yes, we have goodies inside. Um, I'm hoping that this camera angle will give us a uh, good insight. Um, actually, let's do this. We know that the medic bag opens with snap uh, closures on each side. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, here's our card. So this is um, in memory of Zeynep. This was the last design that she created before she passed. And I'm going to show this here to you if you want to pause your screen and read about um, her idea for designing the writer's medic bag as well as go to the website and read their story. Um, I love um, purchasing from this company. All right. I'm not sure what these are for, but that states long. I will figure that out and get back with you. Hmm. Maybe there's some literature in here. Um, the Gain Leather Company. Well, this is a unique material. I guess it, it's probably a sticker. Oops. I'll have to edit that out. <laughs> Pardon me. And, oh, a freebie. A nice um, black leather pen sleeve. This is the third one I've received from... Galen Leather, they are so gracious to their customers by tucking in um, valuable free items uh, with your order. <clears throat> and in here, lots of goodies. Again, in the zipper pouch, these are so useful. I carry them in my tote and, oh, all right. This is the second um, time I received this in um, another language that I do not understand, but I love seeing it and having it because I have all the others in English and then this one in another language. Interesting. I love having that. Um, what you seek is seeking you. Okay, I love always enjoy each one after receiving it. Um, and the towelettes I do carry in these little zipper pouches in my tote. 
um, they come in handy. Love the Earl Grey tea. Um, ooh, here's a nice uh, little leather key fob. And this one looks like it is the gray, the crazy horse um, gray leather. Let's see. The last one, oops, the last one they sent me. Oh, I thought it was green, but I guess it's gray. No, I have two, but I love them. Because it took a very long time to receive one, so they are precious to me and I will be using them. Um, this is our story. You can read the story on their website and the evil eye charm which is a local custom that they observe editing another sniffle <laughs> all right so those are all the extra goodies that they tuck in for customers so i'm going to figure out what this is i've not seen that and I'll look on the website to find out. But let's get into the goodies of the bag. Oh, okay, we have some more in here. And these do not say long, so I'm supposing they are short. We'll see what happens with that once I figure out the use. And this is the strap that you can use to attach on the back to create um, the backpack carry. All right, inside, this is a nice deep and wide um, pocket. Okay, here are some screw heads. I imagine that they've included these in case you need to swap them out, um, possibly to attach a, another strap or something. Again, I'm not sure, so I will have to investigate that and get back with you. But I love all of these. So here's another um, key fob. And this one actually matches the leather on the medic bag. And then this one with the lobster claw. That can detach and reattach. All right. So I've been looking to um, create a little art, um, like a plain air bag, with, but that would not have my um, easel but I wanted to be able to tuck in possibly some of my smaller um, watercolor palettes here. And then I think all these metal ones are the same size. I could just swap out um, depending on which color palette I choose to take. I wasn't sure about this one, which is a Winsor Newton, and it looks like it will be too too wide for that but not to say it can't travel we'll see I will edit that out all right um more items that I want to include um not sure yet how I will use these pockets once I decide the setup these three are individual and then this one is one long one with a zippered compartment for something flat you could even put um, some brushes or pencils in there and there is a um, leather flap to protect against that zipper or zipper pull on your items on the other side oh i really like this area right here that unique pattern in the leather and all of these these two loops are wider um, all of these loops could hold pencils or um, brushes. Let's see what we got here. If these are too tall. Yes, now they are, but once they're sharpened, these are the black wings. But once they're sharpened and they get shorter, um, they'll be easy to carry in those loops. Um, might want some watercolor brushes. Or some water brushes, I should say. And they fit nicely in there. Uh, let's see. I also have this little travel pouch that has travel brushes. So it, it doesn't fit in a pouch, but it could stand up just like this inside the bag. Or we could carry it here. If you want another area for your travel brushes. 
We'll see what that looks like when we stand it up to close it. I hope you're in good frame. It's kind of a large item and a lot to share. Um, what else did I want to tuck in there? Okay, let's look at the sizes of some of the watercolor journals that it will fit. I've been collecting these for a while. While anticipating this arrival, I ordered it um, before Thanksgiving and just been waiting. So I've been collecting the items that I thought I would pack into it. Let's look at a size. This is an E5 Han and Mule watercolor book. Fits there with extra room. Um, which also lends me to say this could fit on the side. Um, let's look at um, the Etcher, Etcher Labs. This is also an A5, but it's a landscape. So two A5s can fit comfortably in there. And you'll see that um, there is a gap. Let me go ahead and snap the uh, magnets on the side you can see the gap that we have here so again this brush set fits here nicely in that slot that little gap at the end um, I have room for items at the bottom like um, for my sketch pencils I may want to include my Faber-Castell needed eraser and um, my Galen Leather um, pencil sharpener, the brass pencil sharpener here, or my Kawiko Tuck these here and just drop the little bag that came with another order down in here. Um, uh, the Kawiko Sketch uh, mechanical pencil could slide here. Let me put that down this way. And also, let's just check um, if I put the pencil sharpener over here on this side. Let's see. I have a smaller um, A6. Uh, yes, a smaller A6 um, Etcher Lab sketch notebook. So I have quite a few items in here so far. And I'm not ready, really ready to set it up because I haven't made my decisions. It's just new. I have decisions to make. Um, I'll show you once you connect your magnets on the side. Um, then when you close the top, the square box on the top of this securely holds the magnet flaps. So once you're done, inside the loop and then put your hole over the knob, over the little button. And then let's look at the back. All right, I will have to look at this and figure out the correct. Now I will have to figure out the lacing of um, these loops and this loop uh, to create the backpack strap. So once I play with it, and learn what I'm doing here, I will come back and share with you um, what we have. But I think this is a great little travel um, art case. It can be for just sketching, it can be for watercolor, um, watercolor and sketching. Um, these are a couple other uh, five by five and another A5 that um, I purchased for considering. Uh, using in this case. So anyway, I have a lot of fun um, moments to do in setting up this wonderful writer's medic bag from Gayla Nether. Or if you only want to carry uh, one notebook, the um, we have our Prismacolor um, watercolor pencils and you can trade out a notebook for the watercolor pencil set. Fabulous, right? And one more thing, I don't know 
where I got this, but it's Faber-Castell. I think I got it at Hobby Lobby, but it is a collapse, collapsible um, water cup uh, for your water coloring. And um, so when you use it, your brushes can sit on top like this if need be, because it has the little grooves to hold your writing or painting instruments, whatever. Um, and when you're done, just dump it, wipe it out, and here we go. I just want to see if this will fit here in place of the A6. Um, so there we go. We have our water collapsible, collapsible goodness, um, water cup, and it does seem a little snug right there because it is quite wide. Um, if I take out the colored pencils, just carry one notebook or one sketchbook and the watercolor. Yeah, that fits nicely. So another option. So anyway, I just, I'll be playing with it for a while and we'll check back. So let's look at what happens when you open the medic bag and how you get to your materials. See, everything you can see is snug and tight. And then once you just unloose uh, the magnets, this flops down and everything is right at your disposal. Um, this stands up. You can pick the materials you need. Also, I have a pilot kakuna with a fine point and platinum carbon for sketching and drawing and then a micron well, three pigment micron micron again for sketching and we are ready we're ready to go traveling and sketching um thank you for spending some of your precious moments with me today i think that's a nice place to keep this You have a blessed day. Bye-bye.